Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae Half Genie Hero Jammies Mode! We are on a quest to get all the guests for the ultimate silver party that Shantae wants to host as a thank you to pretty much everybody. A thank you to all of her friends, a thank you to all of her enemies, a thank you to the development staff, a thank you to our backers, everything under the sun. It's just a mode that's full of pure joy while also playing through the stages we've been through that we know and love by this point with a little more of a casual, kind of fun flair to them. So without further ado, on the last episode, we went through all of Mermaid Falls. And I keep burping, so that's uh, not fun. <laughs> well, I mean, it can be fun, depending on who you ask. And now we are here to go after our next party guest, which is actually, strangely enough, Holly Lingerbean. So let's go. Here we go! The ruins of Old Tasseltown. Now, how do I get Holly to show up again? For the life of me, I can't remember. Oh boy! Whenever I'm remembered, I come back to life instantly, you know! Oh, there you are, Holly! I was looking for you! I'm hosting the ultimate slumber party! Wanna come? Oh, that depends, I suppose. What is your party's overall theme? Is this more of a movies and cookie baking affair or a nail painting and ear, pace, ear piercing party? I guess the former, since I recall your ears already being pierced. Unless they were clip-on earrings, which I will assume they were. I can't imagine someone like you would have the fortitude to receive an ear piercing like mine. My first earrings came with sharp iron posts thick as a first-year sea cow. Just getting them through my lobes was a pain beyond that endured by any human in the history of ear piercing. I guess based on these facts alone, I should really attend the festivities. You'd be lucky to have me after all. Um. Put you down for a yes? Pencil me in, but don't get your hopes up. I'll run and check my calendar. I'd better follow her, I guess. Boy, handing out invitations sure is hard work. And going with the theme of uh, this mode of what I've been discussing, again, subtle jab at another uh, game <laughs> that hands out invitations. <laughs> Alrighty, right. So we lost our max level, but we can get back pretty quickly. Tasseltown is not too terrible, sans the one place, which. Believe it or not, this is as far as I've gotten in the actual playthrough, I believe. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, have fun with... Go go away, please. Oh, well, that, 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 that works. Hey, man, that works. You call using the enemy's attack at martial arts? Hey, man, whatever works. Shh, shh, So where are Dream Squids here? I don't think they're usually not up here. And we can't, uh, go under the water. So let's pick up a nice one right there. I think it's very appropriate that we have Dream Squids in this mode, because, you know, it is, uh... If we're gonna have a slumber party, that means they're gonna sleep at some point, right? Right? I don't know, if... When you were young, and you had slumber parties, I mean, I had a few... Well, because we were guys, you called them sleepovers, because they didn't want to sound girly. But, uh, they're slumber parties, so let's be real. Uh, my friends and I would stay up until, like, maybe 3 a.m., may maybe sometimes 2, it depended on how old I was at the time, so, if, like, if we were in elementary school, we'd be up to, like, maybe 1 at the latest. In middle school and high school, it got, uh, a bit later, but, uh, I did you have sl slumber parties growing up as a kid? I mean, if you're still a kid right now, I do you have, do you is that still a thing people do? I, with the earring and everything, I feel like it's, it's a kind of a bit of an outdated concept, because you can easily just talk to friends online for a super long time, at very late hours, if you need to. But there's also there's also just something kind of magical about that, having your own the same place, enjoying activities together. Um, for me and my friends, it was always playing a video game, so, like, the, the big thing we do, usually, when I was in elementary school at least, is, uh, none of us own an N64, so, I'll uh, preface, preface with that, I was a PlayStation kid, to be, on to be honest, which... With my current track record, that company is kind of hilarious in hindsight, but, uh... We'd rent an N64, because back in the days, you could rent a console. 
thank you, Blockbuster, but which no longer exists. I think you've made a jab about that in, a, in another another video. Uh, but uh, we'd rent a, a N64, and we'd rent a Mario Party 2 and Super Smash Brothers. And sometimes we'd get lucky, and the cart of Super Smash Bros. would have all the characters unlocked, and sometimes we wouldn't. So we'd have to... We'd then work together to get all the, the four hidden characters unlocked. So then we could do silly things, like, uh, the three of us, there's just three friends and I, or two, two friends and I, we would play, like, we, we do this thing, like, we made a level 9, uh, Luigi AI, and we all had to beat the Luigi AI up, and it was, it was very hard to do. Um, and Kirby's grab back then, since I always play as Kirby, uh, was... I don't know, I think it feels I think it was a bit broken, so we just use it to just explode the Ouija off the stage and everything. It was it was a fun time. Uh, I'll get I'll get into other similar party stories in just a moment, but uh, first This section. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. This is gonna be the hardest part of the entire mode, I guess. I I'm pretty certain of it. Even even the step in Hitno Baron's castle, I think, is not as hard as this, because this is a, a chase. Uh, yeah, especially if I do that. You will bounce off the walls a little bit, just like the, uh... Actually, no. Bubble will not bounce off. If you touch something, a bubble, it pops. So, this is a bit different from the bubble, that it bounces off the walls and does some crazy stuff. So, be careful with that. Uh, I think the squids are in pretty much the spots that they're always in. Like that one. Maybe a few variations on a theme. And let's see, there's one segment in here that's really annoying to get through, but I think once we're past that segment, we're golden. So let's do that. Um, well, we'll resume the Summer Party story after we get through this part, because this part always gives me some levels of anxiety. Which, I mean, I have anxiety disorders to begin with, so maybe it's not the best thing for me to be playing. Okay, and go, ah, uh, uh, okay, perfect, 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 let's just, uh... Because you, you have to dodge all these guys, and that 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 part screwed me up so badly the first time, the first dozen or so times, and I don't even know if I got past it before, and now I just did. So maybe the key is to not focus on it, and you'll do fine. <laughs> shush, shush. But anyway, like when I got into middle school, uh, we my friends and I really liked to play the game Fantasy Star Online, which is for on the GameCube because they had the split screen and everything. And we'd be up for hours. We'd make sometimes make completely new characters. One of my friends actually had the ability to go online, which is like a big rarity for that game. And so we'd use some of the stuff that you got, and we just do we just do fun stuff, just going through the story, trying to challenge ourselves, and uh, all the difficult modes and everything. It's just a fun time, man. I really miss I I, I miss those. You know, it's uh, it, it's something that I would love to do again if I if I had the ability to. And people were up to it. You know, just a nice slumber party with uh, friends. I mean, in a way, when I was in college, I guess that was kind of a thing, because, you know, with my roommates and everything, we, we all live in the same place, so if we all want to be up doing something silly late at night, we definitely could. I think uh, one night we actually played, we were playing uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and, uh, oh boy, you are not in a fun spot, I tell you what. Alright, there we go. Now, we are all playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and there's this, uh, Pseudo board game. I don't. I don't. I won't want to say it's like fully a board game because the the concept of it does not really make itself into a fleshed up board game. And I did. Wow, you just put the spikes right there. Rude. <laughs> shush, shush. But uh, it's called curses, and in curses, the idea is is that uh, you keep giving different like silly tasks to people, and they have to keep doing it. And if they don't do it, they lose the game. So, like, one of them is, like, you draw a card that says, like, your hands must be glued to your head at all times. So, if you don't actually glue your hands to your head, don't, don't do that. <laughs> um, but you would have to act like they were, so you'd have to put your hands uh, on your head at all times. Or you'd have to, like, you'd have to make a noise every time a bell rang or something like that. There's all these silly little things. So, we had the genius idea, and in hindsight, I don't think it was genius, because, uh... <laughs> Other than myself and maybe one of my friends, I think not many people have a lot of the great memories of this, but <laughs> maybe it's because they got stuck with really bad cards. But, uh, which is, which, that's fair, because those cards were awful. <laughs> but, uh, we'd do is we'd play around, uh, we'd play around the Smash Brothers, and we'd all have our different curses cards, so we'd have to be doing silly things. So, like, if we were playing a match and the bell rang, like, we'd make up things sometimes, like, oh, the bell rang, you have to purposely screw up and fall off the stage, which wasn't fun all the time. But, uh, it, it, it was kind of silly, because then one of them was, like, uh, one... My one roommate, who I think still begrudges this to this day, is he would... He got a card that he had, to, I think, had something in his mouth, 
And he also had his hands uh, glued on his head, so he had to hold the controller in a very odd way in order to play. And he was just so miffed about it. <laughs> oh, golly. It was hilarious, though, uh, He and he still managed to win quite a few rounds, so it's like... Well, I don't think this hindered you too much, but I think when some later things got put in, like, I think he got a Bell 1, which required him to... I think one of the Bell 1s required them to purposely flop on the ground, which definitely hinders gameplay then. <laughs> so I think if we were to ever do that again, which, based on how that one went, I don't think we're going to, but if we ever did, uh, we would probably get rid of cards that uh, fully hinder gameplay. I think the hands thing doesn't hinder gameplay too much, but uh, other ones definitely do. But it was a fun time. Like, I mean, I miss that kind of stuff, man. When you get older, you, you kind of miss a lot of cool things, but that's... That's how it is, man. That's just how it is. But the benefit to that is that when you get older, you have the chance to help create new things and help support great things as well. Like, for instance, kickstarting a game. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Thank you, way forward. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Right, gotta be a bit careful here. We have all of our necessities. And we'll just drop down here. And bada boom, we are ready to go. Almost for the boss here. Go away, thank you. Very nicely done. So, if you're still growing up and you still have summer parties, good on you. Have fun with them. Do whatever you want. You can do silly things in college, you can do silly things with friends as you're growing up. Just have a blast with it, man, because those are always going to be treasured memories. And so, I like the concept of this mode in general, just because it's Shantae wanting to have a treasured memory with all of the great people she's met along her way. Good news for you! It looks like I'm available all day! I can attend your party, but you'll need to babysit my pet Wilbur while I'm gone. But I'll be at the slumber p Now, now. Caring for Wilbur is easy peasy. Even someone like, like you can do it. He devours memories of mortal beings once in the morning and once at night. He's got a great goopy eye, and his vet has prescribed four brimstone boulders daily. I apply them directly to the exposed pupil. He hates it, but it's for his own good. You'll get the hang of it. Here he comes. Let's see if you got all that. So I guess that actually kind of finally answered my question about how this boss fight works. I guess you have to always hit him four times with the boulders in order for the boss to be done. But, uh... Uh, I don't think this is a very good pet. <laughs> Just gonna go on a whim here. Shush, shush, shush. And hey, you know what? Sometimes I still have slumber parties, too. I have slumber parties with my two dogs and no one's home. It's just the two dogs and I, and we're just chilling, man. We watch late-night TV, and we... That's about it, because <laughs> they're tired and they don't want to do much else. But then we get to snuggle each other, and it's just... Oh, it's just a great time, man. I don't know what, what this... Something about this mode just makes you super happy. It just makes you, like, the giddiest for some reason. <laughs> It's just this it's just this joyful mode that I am not doing well at. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay. Let's There we go. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should just do that. That helps. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get enough of those, so we'll be fine. Oh man. I again I just, I just love uh Shantae is uh <laughs> I love her, or I love her sprites for sleeping, it's just, oh my gosh, she's so adorable! Come on. You don't want this adorable character in Super Smash Brothers? Come on. <laughs> uh, but hey, I've heard people say there might be a style-savvy rep, there might be uh, a Hanenbo, or no, that's the name of the stage, a Electroplankton rep, bring it on, bring on all the silly stuff, I'm ready for it. We can make a piranha plant be a playable character, we can make anything be a playable character, and I'm excited to see what kind of crazy stuff we do. <laughs> oh, golly gosh. Oh yeah, that actually reminds me then. When the last Smash Brothers game released, I actually went to visit some friends up north, and I stayed overnight with them, and we just played Smash the entire time. It's kind of like a, a launch party in a way for it. That was a lot of fun times. Like, And then we'd later, in our jammies, be going out to like a Toys R Us, which... No longer exists, I think. <laughs> uh, and we'd look to see, oh, do they have the amiibo that we're looking for and that kind of stuff? And that, that, that was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. It's amazing the, the, the good memories you can have with friends doing good things. So always be striving to do that. So that's 
That's why this mode touches me so much, is that it's, it's, Shantae wants to be the most purest thing, which I guess some people aren't fully on board with, or don't fully understand, but wants to have a great summer party with all her friends, all of her supporters, all that good stuff, all of that, can I hit this eye? The uh, survey says no, let's use, yeah, use, use the sheep. <laughs> use the sheep, I have the sheep for a reason. I gave me more magic for a reason. Alright, is that... Is this gonna be eye number three or eye number four? Hopefully it's number four, so we'll be done with this, because this has been this has been the hardest Wilbur fight thus far, and the last Wilbur fight, too. So, Wilbur, my good sir, it's been an honor to battle you these many times throughout the course of this game. You've been a fun boss. I don't care what anyone says, man. You do you. I love your design. I don't like having you chase me in the tower, but hey, man, let be it bygones be bygones. Time that just perfectly. <laughs> Wilbur? Aw, he's sleeping like a baby. Does that mean he'll come to my slumber party? I might be able to make a surprise appearance. No promises. Don't worry, I can keep a secret. I'll forget this conversation ever happened. <laughs> forget? Don't forget anything, or I'll... <laughs> Bye, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh was adorable. That takes care of that. Better move on. I still got lots of invites to hand out. Next on my list, Ammo Baron. Because I should. I don't know why you invite Ammo Baron. <laughs> why would do that? All right. So let's get that adorable little dance that she does at the end of the stage. Yeah. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Shantae Half Genie Hero Jammies Mode. If you liked this video, please consider hitting that like button below. And if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Shantae Half Genie Hero is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC Steam. But Nintendo Switch, man. Switch it up. <laughs> uh, you can get your original game, which I believe this is free DLC for, so you can have a nice slumber party of all your good friends. Or you can get the Ultimate Edition and get every single mode out of the gates, so you're ready to go. Otherwise, please have a wonderfully great day. Until next one, ciao!